All right, I have here today the Air Hood. I pre-ordered this forever ago. I got it. I've been afraid to use it. The idea behind the Air Hood is it's cooking fume extraction, right? It's all the things they promise here. It's a little, little hooded vent for your apartment, for wherever you are that you don't have a regular cooking vent. You want to get rid of oil, smoke, smells, whatever. This thing promises to do it. There's a corded version and a cordless version. I got the one you plug in because it's got a little more power. I have little faith in this as it is. I've read bad reviews. I'm gonna see for myself, does this do the trick? I'm gonna sear up a steak. I got this nice ribeye. I just salted it. I just dried it. I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna cook it. It's gonna smoke this place up. It doesn't take a lot to get the smoke alarm going in here. So <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see if this lets me cook again in my apartment. But let's unbox it first. Let's see what's inside. Like I said, here's everything they promised. Dual filter technology, three speed settings, quiet operation, easy to clean and portable. I don't care about the noise and you're gonna hear that because I'm gonna have both the overhead hood going, this, my air conditioning, which is gonna kind of blow some air around. I got a fan, I got circulation. I really just wanna be able to sear stuff really badly. Okay, so it comes with a quick start guide. Oh, that is not a pull open, that's a... Okay, so it tells you how to get it ready. I'll go over that in a second here. Let's get everything out. Take out the foam insert. There's two colors, well actually now there's three, but there were two colors I could get, either an orange one or white. The orange, like the orange red actually looked kind of nice. But I went with the more traditional white. I think there's now a black one, which is probably what I would have chosen, but here we are. Box of charcoal filters. It would appear there's nothing else in here. So, close that box back up. Throw the foam back in there. And then here we have the air head. If I can figure out, come on. Pull the little foamy guy off of there. And here she is, just like the pictures. It would appear the power cord conceals nicely in the back. That's gonna come out. You got your speed settings on top. I believe we're we're on off right now, but then there's one, two, and three. Kind of cool, kind of cool. I really would love to see this work. Comes with five of the charcoal filters. Yeah, that works. Let me read up on it. Let's get cooking. So actually, before I get it going here, let me just show you. Kind of neat. Actually, a couple things. They say you can't use this with a gas stove. Do not use near an open flame, which I guess if you have an apartment that needs this, there's a good chance you don't have a gas stove. I don't know. Anyways, front and back both pull off magnetically. This you can pop that off to kind of clean it. And then even more importantly is the front. Front pops off magnetically. You've got your charcoal filter in there. It comes with one. You can then twist and pull off to get to the front oil filter. They want you to clean that after every use. You're supposed to clean the charcoal one, or rather you're supposed to replace it after every 100 hours or so of use. Cool stuff. Okay, so let me show you a quick video here of what I did before to this steak. So first thing you're gonna do, take your kosher salt and salt this thing. You don't have to salt your steak. I like to, it makes it more tender. Um, Gives a little bit more flavor. Basically, give it a nice coating of salt, both sides. Be pretty liberal with it. And you're gonna go set this in the fridge for at least 45 minutes. There is no real limit to how long. But what's gonna happen is the salt is gonna start taking out the juices and then the salt's going to find its way into the steak tenderizing the meat um, it's going to make for a better tastier steak 
Now I have gone and rinsed it off in the sink and I've dried it with paper towel. I'm gonna season it up with this Killer Hogs barbecue steak rub. It's been a while since I had it. It's probably the same as half these other rubs, steak rubs. Ah, looks good. If I could get the dang thing open. I'm gonna liberally season that. I like a good bit of flavor there. I spread that about. You've seasoned me. You don't need to see this. Well, who doesn't want to watch Poppy rub his meat? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> so we do this. Uh, you gotta pay extra for that one, guys. <laughs> we got it nice and seasoned. And we're gonna go get the pan going. Uh, pan, I'm gonna set to medium heat. And then I'm gonna start cooking this. Also today, I'm gonna cook up some veggies because I don't just want steak. So I got my Kasori air fryer here. I'm gonna spray a little bit of oil inside. And then I've got these frozen broccoli florets from Paris Peter, but you can get these at literally any grocery store. You know, I'm gonna go with the whole bag just because whole bag, 120 calories. I'm going to season them up with NA11, the Everything Premium Rub. Uh, discount on that in my description. Actually links to everything I'm using today from the air hood to the pan to the premium rub to the air fryer. It's all in the description. I'm going to shake a bunch of this on. It's going to give it a little bit of flavor. Alternatively, you could do like salt, pepper, onion, garlic. I'm going to coat these up. I'm going to shake them up. Got those in there, we're gonna go 400 for 20 minutes. That's gonna get them nice and crispy. I'll probably check a little before, maybe shake them up halfway, we'll see. So, right now, I've got oil in the pan. I use some olive oil. You really wanna use a higher temperature, higher smoke point oil, but that's what I got. Um, I do have the fan above on, and I can tell you that's not enough. So I'm hoping this airhead does the trick. We're gonna crank her up to three. I'm not messing around. Did you hear that? Can you even hear me over it anymore? It's insanely loud. But I'm hoping it does the trick. There's air coming out the back. Let's start searing. Now when it's ready to turn, you'll find it has a little bit of give to it. You don't have to fight it give it a nice flip. Nice bit of browning there. Could use a little more, but that's not so bad. No smoke alarm yet. Let's uh, sear the other side for another two and a half minutes or so here. Okay, so it's cooking nicely. I can actually see the smoke going into this uh, air hood, which is really great. I'm gonna give it another test with some butter. I'm gonna flip it again. Get some butter hot in the pan. We get the rest of that pack under the steak here. I'm gonna start ladling butter on. So, guys, no smoke alarm. Now, a couple things before we dig into this. Um, you couldn't catch it on camera and I didn't want to mess with it. I could see smoke being pulled into this. 
it was doing something. Um, now that said, I only had my pan at about medium high, medium, medium high heat. Uh, for that all clad pan, you don't want it as hot as it gets. If I was really trying to get a sear on something, I still fear that there may have been too much smoke for this thing to catch, even with the overhead one going too. I don't know. I don't know. But this was doing work. I will definitely be keeping this. I will definitely be using this every time I cook anything in that pan. Maybe I don't need it cranked to three all the time. I don't know. It won me over though. It did something. That's impressive. I'm a fan. Well, let's check this out. Um, you're gonna say, Poppy, what happened to that broccoli? Um, take a look. I've never made frozen broccoli like this before. Actually, fun fact, I've never made frozen broccoli before in my life. Take a look at me. I'm trying to make positive changes. Um, so, I should have done a test run. Instead, what I have are these ridiculously crisped up bits. Um, actually, this one's, <laughs> believe it or not, on the better looking side. Let's give it a shot. It's, uh... It's got a little of that seasoning flavor, but mostly I burnt it to hell. Hmm. Well, lesson learned there. Need to play with that recipe. Hmm. Don't know how to redeem that. I'll find something to dip it in or something. And my Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Summer Freeze. <sighs> Cleanse the palate for what should hopefully be a much better steak experience. I'm gonna cut right into the middle of this thing. This is a ribeye, so it's got the ribeye cap around the edge there. And then it's got the actual ribeye filet right here. Both delicious parts of the steak. Ooh. I, I didn't know how it would look. It actually looks pretty good. Check her out. Nice pink. Mm. You taste the butter, you taste the seasoning, you taste that delicious fatty ribeye cut of meat. That's good. This turned out well, minus the broccoli, which I'm actually kind of disappointed about. It's still edible, at least in my book. Hmm. Good stuff. Go get an air hood. Go cook your own steak. Join the club. Don't do this. I'm still gonna eat it. Whatever. Like I said, link in the description to the air hood. Um, I don't have any promo codes or anything for that, I don't think. Link to everything else I had in the video. Like even my really nice Vustav steak knife, <clears throat> which I love. Wouldn't eat steak without it. Good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.